Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'd like to do a quick demonstration on standing waves here. So to help me with that I've got myself this orange rope here that what I've done here is I've tied to the one edge of the bookshelf here which is a very simple knot here. So I'm basically going to pin one end of this rope here and I'm going to hold the other end here of this rope. Now what I would like to do here with this rope here is I'm going to oscillate it or twirl it and spin it in a circular motion at different frequencies and I would like to see how does the rope behave here. Um, so for example here if I take this rope here and I just start spinning this thing kind of at a slow rate here. Here we go. Okay. So we end up with this one wave here. So the rope is traveling in a circular motion here, but hopefully what you're seeing here from the angle of the camera is it's just kind of oscillating up and down is what it appears like in the plane, right? So this is what's referred to as the first mode of the rope here, right? Or of this, of this system here. So at this certain frequency, we end up with what are called two nodes here. One here is at my hand and the other is at the other end where it is fixed. So a node is a location where there's actually almost no motion here, right? Now, what's interesting about this motion here in this system is that if I increase the frequency of oscillation, let's see if we can get another mode to show up in this standing wave. So what I mean by that here is earlier, this cur current case, right? If we go slowly, there's two modes, right? One in my hand and one at the far side. Let's increase the frequency of oscillation here. Oh, and look at that. Well, well hold on, I'm kind of losing it. There we go. Hopefully that looks nice here. So now at this situation, I've actually got two nodes. Let me step out of the way a little bit so you can hopefully see that a little bit better here, right? Or sorry, so there's now three nodes here, right? There's one on my hand, there's one at the far side, and there's one right in the middle here. So if we go at a higher frequency, we see that we excite what's called the second mode of this standing wave here, right? Okay, let's go even faster and see if we can excite the next mode, the third mode here. So this one takes a little bit of, uh, of effort here, but let's see if I can get it to go. Oh, that was close, that was, cl that was close. Oh, come on, I think I'm almost there. Oh, this one takes a little bit of going. And come on, come on, oh, there we go, there we go, there. Close, 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 close. Okay, there we go, there we go, I think we got it. I think we got it. There we go. See, if I oscillate this fast enough, you see now there are four nodes here, right? One in my hand, one at the far end, and then two in between, right? So again, this is some interesting phenomena here that as you increase the frequency, the rope appears to settle into these specific modes of, of, of vibration or of oscillation. So what would be really neat here is if we had some mathematical theory here that would be able to model this motion of the rope here and predict that kind of interesting behavior here. So um, if you're interested in the actual derivation and maybe some math behind this, we've got a couple of videos here discussing how this entire rope oscillation system can be expressed and governed by a partial differential equation. And we'll take a look at how to solve that here. So here, I just wanted to show a demo of this interesting physical phenomena that's gonna set the stage for a lot of this um, interesting, elegant math that we'll be taking a look at in a couple other videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe to the channel because like we talked, about there is going to be um, a couple of other videos discussing modeling this system as well as uh, its solution. So with that being said, I hope to catch you at one of these future videos. Bye!